Professor Ramya from uh, Hindustan University, Center for Automation and Robotics, and uh, he is one of our research scholar, uh, Mr. Karthik, and we have developed a, a small uh, prototype. Uh, basically, our center is more focused towards uh, automation and robotics for various uh, industrial applications. Uh, initially, we focused with industrial applications. Now, we are looking into healthcare products as well. Okay. So, this is one application where uh, we have focused towards patient assistive robot. Okay. We have two roles uh, that it plays. Initially, we wanted to play as a companion. Okay. Uh, most of the bedridden patients are left alone. Wow. Okay. So, we wanted to act it as a companion to the patient and apart from that, it should also assist the patient in few activities. Okay. So, uh, considering the role of a companion, we are trying to entertain the patient by updating him with the uh, news, day-to-day okay. uh, -day activities uh, and the robot will log into the uh, patient's uh, mail account, can update the patient about the uh, mails, recent mails and then could also go into the social media and uh, update him about the latest posts in his ID. So that is about a companion role okay. and when it comes to assistance, we have taken an uh, a reminder like you can give a reminder about the medications that you are supposed to take a patient is supposed to take so the caretaker can register in what medicines uh, he or she is supposed to take and the timings so that will be recorded and uh, during that time an alarm will beep up and uh, the patient can take up the medications up and if you know there is uh, the patient is in distress you can identify it from the emotions so it has a camera which will identify the emotions and if it identifies that the patient is in distress will communicate to the caretaker through voice message this is the first time this is the first time we actually uh, being an educational institution we have developed a prototype we want to make it a product for which we would require some industrial partner and this robot can be customized based on the requirements like a cardiologist would need different parameter uh, ENT surgeon would so uh, based on their requirements we would also invite uh, doctors to give us some suggestions on what they really require so that we can customize the product as well. The moment we develop something as an engine in an engineering perspective, but the application is to the doctors. So to reach out doctors when during their busy schedule is uh, very difficult. So now this has acted as a platform wherein we are able to actually take in this technology to the doctors directly. Now right from this morning we have been uh, uh, interacting with uh, uh, more than 10 different doctors from various fields. So it has been a very interactive session for you. Definitely and uh, out of which two doctors have already given us uh, their suggestions and they've asked us to come and meet them personally to take it forward. Okay. So it's definitely useful for us. Uh, we are located in Chennai so okay. it was not tough for us to reach okay. this uh, but when, uh, of course the objective is we have been developing it but to take it to the uh, market we really have to reach to the uh, uh, users who would use this. So this actually is placed as an interface for us to take this and good networking as well.